Back up to Philadelphia Citizens Bank and bring in Bob and FP uh, for a couple of minutes. And it's quite obvious the runs have been very, very difficult to come by these first four games of the season. Yeah, you know, Johnny, it could be a combination of things. If you're getting hits in a row and not getting the big hit, that's frustrating. FP, right now, this ball club isn't even getting any hits consecutively, as you mentioned. We haven't even talked about keeping the line moving at all, and that part of it's frustrating as well. It is. I mean, and you can use the Jason Worth and Denard Spann and Anthony Rendon are out to your, your blue in the face, but but that doesn't matter right now because they're not here. So so what do you do in the meantime? You got to find ways. You got to find ways to win baseball games, and you know, tip your cap to Matt Harvey. Okay, he's one of the elite pitchers. Yeah, but a guy like. Jerome Williams, even though he's a major league pitcher, he gave up 17 earned runs in spring training. So you were thinking coming in tonight, the offense gets right. These are major league hitters. And you're not going to use the excuse you don't have your one, two, three hitters because guess what? Nobody cares. you got to find ways to win games. And right now, right. the offense just isn't getting it done. And then, you know, it, it, we talked about this during the game. Every decision you make with the bullpen, every pitch a bullpen guy makes, Every ground ball that doesn't get handled or whatever, it's just so magnified with that lack of offense. That's why all these things have to work together over long stretches of the regular season. It is, and what Ray just said is absolutely right. The seventh inning was a ball game. I mean, and if yeah. you're going to cling to a one-run lead and you're going to cling to a, a, a leadoff home run right there, you, you have to go with your best guy, and Matt Williams felt that Xavier Cedeno was his best guy tonight. So, Johnny, Ray, a little early to be talking like this, but in baseball, there's always tomorrow, 24 hours right back here, and, uh, you know, Cole Hamels, there's an established big league guy. Doug Fister's going to have to be very good unless the offense puts some crooked numbers up early in that ball game tomorrow. Okay, Bob. Bob and FP in uh, Philadelphia. Game two coming up again tomorrow night. Then a day game on Sunday.